Hey, welcome back to Mobility Watt. Starting in shoulder internal rotation cycle, three day cycle. Andrew Killen, District CrossFit. He's a vagabond, I don't know, how would you describe you? Rock star, super coach, hanging out, uh, absorbing, uh, absorbing awesomeness wherever he goes. He's, he's at, we have a low awesomeness threshold here, so he sucked it all up. Yeah. Um, but what we're gonna take you through is the day one of a, a three day cycle. Couple, couple goals, so we're gonna go day one. We're working on internal rotation, internal rotation of the shoulder. And the first piece we're going to do, and the thing we're going to consistently see for the next three days, is the barbell shoulder smash. So the first thing we're going to do is the barbell shoulder smash. Second piece we're going to do, and we'll see this one three days in a row, second piece we're going to do is we're going to work on the pec with the ball. So we're going to hit pec and pec minor with the lacrosse ball. And the last one is going to be banded into rotation. So just banded IR. So here's what it looks like. Number one, we start Andrew on his back. We'd like to test, retest this into rotation. You can have a friend pin the shoulder to the back of the socket. You should be able to get it all the way down. Hand, go ahead and put your hand on top of my, oh no, he doesn't have all the way. On top of my fist, that allows me to basically have enough into rotation to hold the barbell at my stomach full range to here without compensating. So keeping the shoulder pinned to the back of the socket, I should be able to get all the way down. He's shy a little bit. So we take the barbell. We're gonna unglue. This is the soft tissue approach here. He takes the hand up by his face. Leg goes over the bar. This is gonna internally rotate through that shoulder and that biceps, that coracobrachialis, and just unglue that. If he needs a little bit more special love, he can take the corner of the collar, and that's what's up. Yeah. And then if I'm a special good friend, I give him a little extra love, a little extra help. Oh and I can coach. Hey, good job over there. That's what I'm talking about. So you're going to have to look at his pain face. Two or three minutes aside, the idea is to try to break that tissue down, keep, keep shearing past it. This is, this is where we're going to prioritize. Get used to this. You're going to see it three more days. Only two or three minutes on this one. Home number two. Take a lacrosse ball. Remember, position of emphasis. So how do I mobilize the position of restriction? The combination position is hand behind back. So the easiest thing is to take that ball right in this pec minor. And the reason we're looking at this is if the pec minor's tight, keeping me forward, can't get that back, we need to release that so I can get my shoulder blade in a good position, which allows for internal rotation. So he's going to press up into the wall, holds that with one hand, and then he can just grind that in, put a hand behind back, he's making a face, minus one, don't do that. And then he's just going to keep hammering and then pull that arm back, internally rotate as he goes, it's pulling into extension and then adding the internal rotation, get the combination movement, two or three minutes, Find out your ray, find your vector. You can also do this on a stomach, pressing the ball into the pack. If you don't have that with a hand back, and then just get some good pressure. And then, of course, since I'm a great friend, I can also give him some extra love through the shoulder here. And then he can just internally rotate, and kind of keep bringing that hand out and bringing that hand out. That's homework number two. Two or three minutes on each side, each way. Last one. Band up high on the wall. Push that shoulder through the band hangs on it, and that allows him to set that shoulder back in the socket where we want it. And then he can reach out with his other hand and grab the shoulder. So the key is that the band is really going to keep the shoulder. As I go hand back, it's difficult to control that. This allows the shoulder to stay back by leaning into it. And then I can go ahead and reach behind and work on those corners. And while you're here, go ahead and tie your neck into that business. And be, oh, there it is. That's what's up. And you're seeing that we capture that whole piece here. Ability Watt, day one, shoulder internal rotation. See you tomorrow.